what is it going to cost me if I don't stop drinking now? This is a question that you should be asking yourself if you're humming and hawing about whether or not you should stop drinking. Right. How are you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. And if you are thinking about quitting drinking alcohol, if you're seriously mulling it over in your head and you're thinking, well, you know, can I do this? Um, should I do this? Then one of the questions you should be asking yourself is what are the long-term consequences of me not quitting drinking now? What is going to happen in my life if I don't stop drinking? Um, one of the best ways of doing this is to simply sit down at a table, um, sit down in your chair, and take out a piece of paper, two pieces of paper, three pieces of paper, whatever it takes, and a pencil, a pen, and start writing down what you think or where you think the direction of your life is going to go if you don't stop drinking alcohol. It's not an easy thing to do. It's going to give you a fair bit of pain to think about this and to think about if you really do delve into it and think about things from um, the future perspective. The best place to start is where you are now, right? What is the pain that you're feeling now? What is the exact... Um, why are you thinking about it? You know, why are you watching this video? Why are you thinking about your alcohol con consumption? Uh, consumption? Consumption? Why are you thinking about your alcohol consumption at all? And, you know, expand from that. You know, maybe, you know, you've, you're just feeling shit because um, you've done something that you didn't want to do and you realise that this is a drug and um, it's put you out of the game. You've had a blackout and you said something or you've done something. Maybe somebody has said something to you. Um, I said to you, well, you know, um, I've had enough of this and I don't like your fucking drinking anymore. And if you don't stop it, adios, I'm going to go, right? So start from there and work your way outwards and think about where you're going to be in a year's time or two years time, five years time and try and project yourself into that, into that person. Um, Think about it from that perspective. Uh, think about it from a financial perspective, where you're going to be in terms of your money, um, how much money it's going to cost you. Don't forget that alcohol is it's a drug, and the more you use it, the more you're going to need to use it. So if, you're, if you take your drinking now and how much you're drinking now, and you can start to multiply that as you go down the line. You know, five years' time, you're going to be certainly drinking more um, if you carry on drinking. Um, think about all the fights that you're going to have, um, relationship fights, uh, fights with other people, fights with yourself, right? Moderation is just one fight after another, one internal conflict after another. You know, I've been through this countless fucking times and I just got sick of it, sick of doing it all the time. You know, I'd moderate, I think I'm drinking way too much and it was normally after... You know, I'd gone through, maybe gone out on a weekend and drank 20 pints on a Sunday night and just woke up at two o'clock in the morning. As I said, I've talked about this loads of times and I did this loads of times. Woke up and my heart would be going <laughs> and I'd be sweating and I just feel like crap. And I'd feel like this is it. You know, this is what the fuck am I doing to myself? What the fuck am I doing to myself, you know? And, you know, really, I'd start to look at myself then and see myself in a completely different light. I'd be awake for the rest of the night. I'd come into the, um, the front room, I'd sit on the couch and I'd just watch TV show after TV show, curled up with a blanket around me, feeling sorry for myself. Monday morning would come and I wouldn't go to work. Um, as I say, I'd feel crap. I'd eat crap food to try and make myself feel better, right? A little bit more comfort to the comfort that I had the night before. And maybe Tuesday, I still wouldn't feel like going to work. So I lose two days out of work. And then, you know, the people that I cared about would be coming in and looking at me and they'd be thinking, you know, you've only got yourself to blame and, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? But at the end of the day, this was my life. This is where it was going. And so I sort of, for the rest of the week, while still under the influence of that weekend's drink, I'd go, oh no, I have to moderate, I have to moderate. And 
I would moderate for the week, you know, and I'd get to the weekend and maybe I wouldn't drink as much, right? Maybe I'd force myself to come out of the pub, but it was a pain. It was all the time a fucking, uh, there was a pull there towards the drink, to have more, to stay in the pub, you know, to have the crack, when the crack wasn't there, you know. Um, and to do these things that were completely against what I wanted in my life, right? But I felt like this was something that, it just had a hold of me, you know? But at the same time, um, I'd be telling myself, no, you know, this is just, this is just, it's part of who you are, right? You just have to control it. You have to bring it back down, right? And like I say, I would bring it back down for a while, but then it would go back up to the same level again, you know? So I'm just saying that there's a whole host of different reasons. And I've gone through so many of them, right? Saying shit that I wouldn't want to do, uh, being the person I didn't want to do, doing things that I didn't want to do, blacking out, um, a lot of stuff, right? Uh, and that eventually led me to, to stop drinking. So look at every different angle of your life from finances, spirituality, from your relationships to um, what it's doing to you physically and project that five years down the road or 10 years down the road and just see where you are going to be as a person if you don't stop drinking. And I tell you, this is one of the best things that you can do. Just write it down, write your list down, because every time then you start feeling sorry for yourself and thinking, well, maybe I can go back, you know, maybe if I do moderate or, you know, it, one won't harm, uh, one or two won't, won't harm me, or, you know, wait until tomorrow won't harm me, you know. As you know, so as I do that, in your life, when you say, I'll wait till tomorrow, most of the time, tomorrow never comes, right? Tomorrow's never gonna happen. So write down your list, Write down all the consequences, all the risks that you're taking with yourself now, right at this moment, and where those risks are going to be as they pan out in your life. It's the best exercise you can do if you're considering quitting drinking, is just to visualize yourself um, in this future self. You know, as I said before, this is a future self which you don't have to put up with now, right? This is not the person that you are now, but it's the person that you're going to be. You're going to eventually have to go through this. Uh, you're eventually going to have to suffer the consequences of this. So it's your present self pushing this, these consequences onto your future self, you know, uh, onto the future people around you. So anyway, that's it for today. Uh, I'm Kevin O'Hara for Alcohol Mastery. Take care of yourself. Uh, stay safe. Keep the alcohol out of your mouth. Onwards and upwards. Good luck.